Hello there. Another instructive deal to enjoy from an Andrew Robson Bridge duplicate. Details of all our duplicates on your screen and also details of how to subscribe to my four daily instructional bridge casts where I run through an interesting deal to illustrate a particular learning point. All different levels of player. These YouTube clips though, they're aimed at the more experienced player. Now North has a pretty bad hand, but North is at favorable vulnerability. And I must be honest, and I'd be lying if I said otherwise, I would definitely open that hand three clubs. Three clubs is a more suspicious preempt in terms of the lack of a seventh card than the other three bits for the simple reason there's no weak two clubs. I really don't think three clubs is out there. If you played in a top tournament, most modern experts would open that hand three clubs. At favourable vulnerability. It's not only your side's vulnerability that matters, it's also the opponent's. For the reason that you're almost certainly playing with the opponent's money in the sense that they're going to be making a contract, probably a game contract. Now, a vulnerable game contract is worth 600 plus points, which means at favourable vulnerability, you can go three down doubled and be profitable against their game. So that's why it's not only your vulnerability that matters, it's also the opponent's vulnerability. Three clubs says North. I don't think he should act here. It's a mistake to stretch too hard in the second position. Your partner's still there. It would be different in fourth position. Three clubs pass, pass. You hold that east hand, you'd probably have to act and you'd be choosing between a takeout double and a three spade bit. But in second seat, your partner's still there. I think you should pass. Now, what about south? Well, interesting, isn't it? The void spade is very interesting. I would be raising the clubs here and because of the void we're going to go all in five clubs. Very annoying for West isn't it? West can't really pluck a five card suit out at random at the five level so West doubles. Now that's not a penalty double although in practice it will usually get passed at the five level. It's I've got a good hand partner in principle take out ish but usually left because there's no room to have a dialogue in practice east and west west will usually take the money in inverted commas so west doubles north passes and well i mean east could go five spades but it's it's just a random guess really the percentage action is definitely to pass and as I say, take the money. And so the contract is five clubs doubled. Played by North. If North hadn't opened, East West would have had the auction largely to themselves, although South may have made some sort of heart bid. But East West would have got together in spades. West would have been Blackwood. They would have definitely got to six spades and they would have made 1,430 points. They're not going to get nearly that amount out of five clubs doubled. Let's see how the defence should go. Now, in these situations when the opponents have bid way beyond their high card values, you should almost always lead a trump to cut down roughs. West winning the king. West cashing the ace, annoying for Declara, losing two of Dummy's three clubs for spade roughs. Now West is going to cash a top diamond. Quite a good agreement to have, by the way, when you're leading out an ace-king, that you play ace for an attitude signal, king for a count signal. It's a good agreement to have that. So say you've got, got that agreement. So West leads the king for count, and East plays low, for an odd number. So now it does look as though Declara has no more diamonds. 
West is going to lead a spade. It's going to get rough, but hopefully that will set up the defence's remaining spades before De Clare has been able to set up Dummies Hearts. Arguably, West should have switched to a spade and not cashed the King of Diamonds because if De Clara has the Queen of Hearts in their hand, De Clara can now lead the Queen and run it and throw their spades away. So maybe West misdefended there. Maybe West should have switched to the King of Spades and not play that King of Diamonds because then, after De Clara roughs the King of Spades in the dummy, De Clara has to lose a diamond trick and then the defence can cash their spades. So I actually think West misdefended there by playing the King of Diamonds, but it, it won't matter on this occasion because East has the King and the Queen of Hearts. So that's a relief to West, that. East can count the hearts, so East is going to duck. Not that it would matter. East could win and cash spades, but equally East can duck, and now East knows that De Clara's hearts are exhausted and now East can just exit and wait for spades at the end. Or now. So this contract is going four down, doubled. De Clara wins the last two tricks. That is an 800 penalty to east-west, which is better than the value of their spade game, 680, worse than the value of their spade slam, 1430. So it's not clear how well this will score. Sacrificing in general at duplicate pairs doesn't tend to score as well as one may think. How many East-West pairs are going to bid this to slam? They should, but will they all? Not clear, really. It's a very interesting deal. Maybe South should have bid only four clubs. Three clubs pass four clubs. Five clubs was possibly a little bit to throw, facing a partner who's first in hand at favourable vulnerability quite liable to have only six cards in clubs. If South had bid four clubs, what would West do? I think West would probably have bid four spades, being the five card major. And East, although they've got a very, very good hand, they wouldn't know whether West was stretching to bid four spades, not wanting to be talked out, or whether, as here, West was huge. So I think, in practice, East would probably pass and would not go on for slam, would not punish West for making a good, bold four spade bid on a light hand. And so the contract would be four spades. So maybe that five club bid by South was too much. Probably was, you know. Well, lots of interesting things raised by that deal. But I suppose if you take one thing away, it would be that at favourable vulnerability in first chair or in third chair, your three club bids are pretty random and they can be as weak as this. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>